Okay, this is what the cam looks like. I was originally going to weld it, but I, I realized that with it ground in like this, I could simply uh, precision file a shim and just put that in so it makes this replaceable. Also, you can try different throws. Uh, this is iron pipe, which is rated on its inside dimension. Uh, for instance, this is one inch inside diameter iron pipe. It actually measures about an out, inch and a quarter outside dimension. And uh, this is one and a quarter uh, inside diameter iron pipe, which actually measures a little more than one and a half. So these don't, they're not made to fit together, so they don't fit precisely. Okay, that's a little bit hotter than you would normally want. But, We'll go ahead and pop it. So here's what we have so far. Uh, we have our jaws here, and we put two grease fittings in it. And we have a uh, our uh, piece of copper, our copper uh, coupling that we've uh, slid. And we've got holes drilled in the back. Let's see if the camera can catch it. So you can see uh, to allow the grease to flow through. And then we have uh, polished the uh, piece of uh, one inch inside damper pot. And we put a shim in here and just filled it with uh, tin. Uh, it'll hold fine. And also, if I'd ever need to replace it, uh, I could just heat it up, knock the shim out, put another pipe on it. So we've got everything finished. We're going to uh, put some O-rings uh, to keep the grease from escaping into the uh, jaw crusher. And that's about it. We're going to assemble everything back together. Essentially, it's six, as described, cam action, uh, working against the fixed jaw. Now, what I'm going to try to do is uh, turn it around, show you the uh, adjuster, 
Uh, also, I'm going to take off the side here and try to see if I can get an idea of how all this fits together. This is how the adjuster works. You've got a screw that you can tighten in, and it brings the jaws either closer or further apart. And here's the action that it's doing. See, the plate is allowed to move, and then you can uh, see how that works. I just simply welded a couple of nuts onto the bottom of the movable jaw and a couple of holes in the adjuster plate. Also, I have welded the adjuster plate to one spacer here, and I've also put some backing. This will come apart, but this is to keep it from pushing back and forth throughout. And large the amount, whatever you want to crush. Now here, what I've done is I've managed to pull the side plate off without everything falling apart. At least we'll hope not. So you can get an idea of how this is set up. Uh, if I lift this slightly, I may be able to turn it without it without it self-destruct. Actually in this direction. Normal action is down, crushing, then back up. And you can see the adjuster is set between uh, two welded 3 8 inch rods. It's got plenty of free play and it rides inside the channel.